the copywriter and an art director sit down in a room together to concept on a brand assignment. Ultimately, what they're hoping to have happen is a magical moment of inspiration, where after hours of tossing out bad ideas and mediocre ideas, they land upon a great new idea. They have a light bulb moment. At least for the sake of their jobs and their sanity, that's what they hope will happen. To shed our own light on this phenomena, let's take a look at a man who knew a thing or two about light bulb moments. If you've ever tried to solve a creative challenge, you can probably relate to Thomas Edison's famous quote. True to his saying, 99% of the genius behind Thomas Edison's invention of the incandescent light bulb was due to the perspiration he put into the process of finding the right filament for a light bulb. Edison had tested over a thousand types of material to discover a filament that would burn long enough. He tried everything from coconut fiber to fishing line and even the hair from a friend's beard. So after all of this perspiration, where would Edison find the 1% inspiration he needed to create a light bulb that could burn for hundreds of hours? Edison had once gone on a fishing outing in Wyoming. During the trip, legend has it that while he and his fishing buddies were gathered around the campfire, his fishing pole, the cane pole, fell into the fire. Presumably, the pole had burned for hours before Edison discovered what had happened. It was then that he noticed the fibers in the end of the pole were still glowing. The fishing pole was made of bamboo. And in fact, the first major successful filament used by Edison, a filament that would burn for 600 hours, was made of carbonized bamboo. Edison continued using bamboo filaments for years until the merger of his company that created General Electric. So according to the legend, after all of Edison's failed experiments, he must have been exhausted and taken a break, during which his mind slipped back to that relaxed moment around the campfire in Wyoming. And that's when he connected the dots. As we look at all the techniques we talk about for crafting great brand stories, we discover that ultimately what we're trying to do is create a moment of inspiration for the audience. A moment where the audience connects two previously unconnected thoughts. A light bulb moment. To have such a moment, one has to step outside his own world just like Edison had to do. The idea behind brand storytelling is to give the audience that new world to step into. To give them a moment where this unknown world suddenly connects with their own world. So they can find that special bit of inspiration from the brand story. Where they can find personal meaning in the story. A light bulb moment. So what makes brand storytelling different than traditional brand advertising? Brand advertising traditionally has been about leaving no bit of communications to chance leaving no room for the audience to draw any conclusions other than the conclusions the brand wants to force upon them. Great brand storytelling gives the audience mental space. It's a sophisticated art of knowing when to give the audience just enough information in a story, enough mental room, so they can experience their own light bulb moment. You have to give the audience space to journey between your brand's world and their own little campfire so they can connect the dots. That's when they make the story their own. The craft of brand storytelling is a learned skill. What separates it from the craft of traditional brand marketing comes down to knowing how and when to create that space so the audience can connect the dots.